One of Noify's most powerful features is the ability to integrate with QuickBooks Online. Whenever you log your vendor bills or invoices into your jobs in Noify, they'll automatically log themselves into your QuickBooks Online account. To learn more about this, we'll start by going to our QuickBooks module in Noify. This will show a list of transactions that have moved back and forth between the two softwares. It shows the status of the transaction, what type of transaction it was, the action performed, and where it originated. If you need to locate any of these transactions, clicking Complete on the left will open in QuickBooks, and the Description column will open the transaction in Noify. We'll go through some examples here, starting with your list of clients and vendors. Any vendors and clients need to sync between QuickBooks and Noify to ensure that we have the right owner of each transaction. So if I add a new client to my Noify database, it'll automatically log this into my QuickBooks account. Likewise, I can always make edits. We'll use a vendor as the example here. If I choose a vendor from my list in Noify, I can make any adjustments by editing. And when this is saved, it'll automatically make the update in our QuickBooks account as well. Now I'll go back to my transactions log, and I'll be able to see these transactions have been completed. You'll see a vendor updated and a client that has been created in Noify. Next, we'll go through some cost and revenue examples, starting with our invoices. In my invoices screen, I'll choose to add a new invoice in Noify, choose the job, and Noify will prompt me for what I want to invoice. I'll choose the remaining balance of this contract I have in my system for this job, and you'll see it's broken down into individual lines in my Noify account. I'll click Verify and Finalize, and you see I have the option to send to QuickBooks. We automatically check this box, but you can always uncheck if you don't need to send the invoice to QuickBooks. And then when you finalize this, it'll automatically log the invoice under the corresponding client in your QuickBooks account. You'll see this Sync status is set to Sync OK because it's successfully made it to QuickBooks. And I can click here and choose View in QuickBooks to automatically see the corresponding invoice transaction that was created. You'll see that it carried over information like who the client was and the individual lines. In this situation, I used a catalog item in Noify, so it automatically carried across as a product and service in QuickBooks. And since our sync with payments is bidirectional, I can record in QuickBooks that I've received payment from the client, and this will sync back into Noify and automatically close out the invoice that we created. When I first come back to Noify, we'll see that this invoice is still outstanding in the total amount. That's because everything from QuickBooks to Noify needs to be pulled by clicking the Sync Now button in the bottom right corner of your screen. I'll go ahead and activate this, and Noify will look for data in QuickBooks and update this invoice to show me that it's now been closed and fully paid. And if I ever need more information about this payment, clicking Sync OK here will open up the transaction that was logged in QuickBooks and pulled into Noify. Next, we'll do a similar transaction with a vendor bill. In my Bills page, I'll choose to add a new bill, and I'll choose a vendor, and again, this is the same vendor database that we pulled in from QuickBooks, and I can choose Noify information, such as what job each of these lines of the bill is against. I'll just fill in some data here. Uh, I'll choose an item from my catalog. This isn't necessary, but I'm just going to do it for the sake of example here. And I'll add another line to this bill as well, so you can see what it looks like to have multiple lines on one bill. And we can also enter other additional information regarding this vendor invoice, such as their invoice number and the due date. Uh, if necessary, I can also set payment terms. And when I finalize this bill, just like I did with the invoice, I have the option of whether or not to send it to QuickBooks. Uh, of course, we're going to send this one across. And this will pull me to the bill's details page, where I can see the current sync status and pull open the transaction in my QuickBooks account. I can see that the bill carried across both of the lines uh, that I logged in Noify. Uh, and I have my account set to sync to products and services. The default is to sync to account details, uh, but if you need products and services, put in request with our team. Uh, and I went ahead and recorded payment in QuickBooks. So now when I hit sync now again in Noify, it'll automatically update this bill to show me the current status. And I can see that it's been closed and fully paid. We can also log just general cash expenses in Noify to get those to sync with QuickBooks. Uh, I'll go to my purchases and choose expense. Uh, logging a purchase order expects a bill logged against it, so those do not sync with QuickBooks. Uh, I'll choose Home Depot again and just put in a quick little item. This one won't be a product or service from my QuickBooks database. Uh, and I'll choose a job again. 
I'm going to choose an internal project. It doesn't need to be a client job. It's just for the sake of uh, costing. And when I submit this, it'll automatically log a purchase into Notify for job costing. And if I need to see the transaction in my QuickBooks account, I can go to this transactions log and click where it said complete to the left hand side of this transaction. And that'll automatically open up QuickBooks to this individual expense. Of course, if I wanted, I didn't have to directly link into QuickBooks from Noify. I could also just click on my list of expenses and see these transactions logged here as well. The last thing we'll cover in this video is how to sync time from Noify to QuickBooks. Noify can automatically use the hours logged by your employees for job costing and put them in the weekly timesheet in your QuickBooks account. First, I'll go into my time tracker in Noify and enter some hours for one of my employees. I'll choose two different phases of a job just so you can see what it looks like uh, when logging against different jobs. And we'll plug in eight hours a day. And the time will be pushed when we go to our review time section and approve these time entries. This way you can make any adjustments before pushing them to QuickBooks if that's where you're running your payroll. And then once we submit that these have been approved, they'll automatically show up in our timesheet. We'll open up QuickBooks, choose weekly timesheet, and we'll see the hours that were logged and approved in Noify with the corresponding customer and a note with which phase of the job they had tracked their time against. That's the basics of how Noify integrates with QuickBooks, but if you go back to the QuickBooks module in Noify, you'll see that you can actually set default accounts for all of your expenses and income in Noify, so it pushes to more specific locations in QuickBooks. The job defaults will also let you set classes and locations to your jobs, and your catalog defaults will set a default income and expense account for whenever you add a new item or service to your catalog. If you have any other questions or if you'd like to learn more about this, please reach out to us at support at and we're happy to help you. Thanks and have a nice day.